Now, obviously, we don't have that much time to do it this time, but the old Pickhams, I got, I think it was, um, was it six out of nine? Because I fluked Faze going 3-0. I said that was a crazy, like, pick to go for. I didn't get Ty Lu. I had Astralis. I had Mouse Sports. I had, who else at this point in time? Yeah, I should probably just fucking pulled it up, shouldn't I? Who else did I? Well, actually, you can just check on here. Why am I being an idiot? Okay, there we go. I had Faze Clan going there. I had Heroic. The aforementioned Heroic. I had um, Astralis. I had Virtus Pro. I had Ents. And I had Mouse Sports. Big didn't make it. Obviously, played Mouse at the end. Spirit played Astralis at the end. Didn't get them. I didn't have, like, Entropy. I didn't have a Copenhagen Flames. Just a bunch of teams I didn't actually have. So let's go see then. For the Pick'em Challenge Legend stage, we're going to go ahead and do this. And as usual, I'll do a whole rundown of what I think. So we've got NIP with Device. We've got Furia. Remember, they do not obviously have Henny anymore. They've got Na'Vi with Simple, the best player in the world. A lot of people looking for them to win this tournament. They've got Vitality with the Marvelous Zewu, yet to go beyond the round of eight of a major. And actually hasn't been that good in the majors, but he was playing his rookie year. We have Team Liquid. Once upon a time, a great team. Not looking in the greatest form now. Should have won the last major. That was ages ago. Got Gambit. Strong contender to win the major, but not that experienced on land. Still did well enough at Cologne. G2's been in a free fall recently. Probably still sneaky chance to get out of this one though. EG's been terrible. Probably shouldn't even be here, but thanks to the bullshit NAR and they are. A lot of people taking them for 0 3. Face clan snuck through. They looked way better than they probably should. 3 0. I doubt it's going to continue. Copenhagen Flames sort of fluked it. 3 0. Okay, props to them. Roy playing out of his mind as a star player, former entry player for Mad Lions. But interestingly, they played all their games in that same hotel room that they were in for the RMR. So they've yet to actually play a stage game but they will be in this particular competition. Will that change things? Ents with Snappy made it finally to the top 16 for him as a team in terms of Snappy's career. And he's got a whole bunch of rookies there, but they've been looking very solid. Nice map pool. Interesting. Entropeaks, all well, that alien guy has been going absolutely off in this tournament. Underrated CIS team, and they seem to be doing it on LAN. VP, I think should have got through a little bit easier, but they brought in Flit, hoping for more firepower. Haven't necessarily been that crazy so far. Heroic actually should have been one of the strongest teams in the last portion of the tournament. Should be a pretty sweet dollar team to make top eight but have actually looked fairly underwhelming and the map pool looks a little bit shaky right now some of them obviously aren't super land proven at the tier 1 major level Astralis on paper if you look how they've been playing recently they've only just got lucky with this lineup and Glaive and this exact team they looked a bit ropey in the, in the new challenger stage they barely got through they only basically played Spirit in terms of good teams, but they did get through and they looked pretty decent in getting through in the last game. Mouse Spots crept through. They got past because Big just didn't have the firepower and it was kind of a whack nuke game. But let's go through. Let's start with the 0-3. Who is the worst team here? I, on paper, it's got to be between Copenhagen Flames. I know they aced the new challenger stage. Entropic, nobody's basically to this phase. Um, Mouse Spots is an obvious one I'm feeling. Or... I mean, I won't go 0-3 for Astralis. I don't think so. I think they could at least win a best of one. I'd certainly put them in the mix, though, but I don't think I'll go that far. So for me, it's either Copenhagen Flames flop completely on stage. Mouse Spots plays a bit underwhelmingly. Or Entropy just bombs completely. Let me think. Who would I have for that one? Or EG is the other obvious one. Now, loads of people are going to hate and say EG because of how whack they've been recently. Let me think of their players. Like Stanislaw, actually, I expect to be a bit better on land, potentially. Breeze, obviously, is a pretty solid player. Ethan's gone. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really know. Do I really think... I think they've got some fairly land-proven players. I don't necessarily know that I have them going 0-3. Who would I pick to go 0-3 then? I mean, Copenhagen Flames is the one to be mean with, or Mouse Spots, or Entropy. I feel like it's between those. So where do I go for this one? Let me see. Mouse Spots. They could even fluke a game, couldn't they? Copenhagen Flames. I promise they could steal a best of one, potentially. Entropy. EG. I feel like, the problem is I don't feel like EG is going to go 0 or 3. I think they're going to like win one map or best of three or something. How do they manage this at this point in time? I know what I'll do. I'll very quickly... I'll very quickly look at the first round matchups. I'll see which the most likely one for someone to lose in is. Like, what's the easiest one for a big name team to lose in? Let me think. Right, the obvious one is... EG plays Faze, G2 plays Copenhagen Flames, Entropy plays Liquid, Mouse Sports plays Nip. Doesn't really help me on that one, does it? So, hmm, where are we going with the 0-3? I feel a bit tortured on this one. 
It could well be Mouse Sports. E.G. Mouse Sports. E.G. I mean, Mouse Sports has Robs, and he should be good enough to at least get you a BO1 potentially. But can they win a series? I think I'm going to be a hater. I think I've got to take Mouse Sports. I know it sounds crazy, but I don't think they're good enough. Okay. Then for the 3 0, remember, don't pick an actual team that will 3 0. Pick one of the like borderline teams that'll probably go 3 2. Just pick the best one with the fluke chance to go 3 0, like I did for Face Clan. So, okay, let's take the teams that are guaranteed to get out, right? You've got to take Navi. They're the best team in the world. Everything's great at the moment. The map pool, the crazy streak on Nuke, best player in the world is simple. Bits, bits being stepping up. I don't necessarily know that'll happen at this major, though, but they're still so good. I think they can do it. Got Electronic, obviously. Perfect was pretty clutch. Will he be as good on land? Let's see. But I'm taking Navi to definitely get top eight. Beyond that, I think Gambit's a pretty much big lock to make top eight myself. They're still a very quality side. The big stars played well in Cologne. I'm feeling pretty confident about them overall. Beyond that, I'm actually going to go Vitality. I think Zewu will still carry. I think they've got a solid team. I think Kyojin's kind of shit. But other than that, yes, it's Mizuta's first major. But the rest of the team still got shocks to be like a veteran. Apex is a quality IGL. Seems like so far. Extaz is a good coach. I'm going to take them to get out overall. Beyond them, I mean, listen, I took VP as one of my team's to be the dark horse. I still think it's going to happen. I think they're going to keep powering up. So I'm going to take Virtus Pro. Team Liquid feels like a good one. I think I've got to take them at this point in time. I think they're another dark horse, even though they don't necessarily have a Dren here. I think NIP is one that's fairly safe to go at this point in time. Who else have we got here? Furia, G2, FaZe Clan, Heroic, Astralis. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to say Heroic, despite the fact they've actually underwhelmed me a bunch of them aren't really land players on the top, top level. I feel like they're going to get it together as soon and stop playing kind of scared, counter-strike and failing in the closing game. So I'm going to say Heroic's going to get it overall. Stown's going to keep carrying. Some of the others are going to join him like Tessus. So for the 3 0 I'm actually going to get cheeky here. And instead... I think I'm going to go. It's between like G2, who could still creep out. They've got Nico. Face Clan. Listen, it'll probably take a miracle there. Ents. Let me think. Ents. Right, you know what? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get bold here because I don't know that I actually believe Faze will actually get out of this group stage. Like I still feel like the map pool's dodgy. You know, you know what? Screw it. I'll say I'll take... I was going here between Ents, Faze and G2. I'm not going to go for G2, I've decided. I don't really care about Fury with how they're at at the moment. They'll have to prove it to me. Uh, like I do like Ents, but at this stage, the pressure's going to be bigger. Better teams in the best of threes. Do I really think they're going to get out? Between them and Faze, here's the problem. I actually think that um, Ents is good enough to get out, but I think at this phase, it's going to be tough. I think Face Clan has a better chance to fluke 3-0, though. I don't think it's going to happen, obviously. But I'll say I'll screw it. I'll say I'll take Faze at this point in time to get top eight. Do I really take them over Ents, though? Sphinx and Dota. And... That's a tough one for me. This is rough to take them over Ents. I know I should just say screw Heroic, but I don't just go off pure form. Like, I think overall the team is quality enough. It should be able to get out. So I'm going to say phase for the 3-0. There we go. Oh, by the way, if you want to focus and potentially get the coin like I did before or get to this phase where I got six out of nine, could have got seven out Vine. I drink Gamer Subs. I enjoy the Guacamole Game of Art 9000 flavour. Don't worry, it's Strawberry Lime, not the silly name. I enjoy the Citrus Lemonade one. I enjoy the Dragon Fruit Punch one. Code Thorin, T-H-O-R-I-N, for 10% off your order. Now, I'll also say, I'll go ahead and say, right now in this tournament, the other ones that I think could be crazy is the map pool events means they could sneak through in the best of threes. I think if Breeze, Sir, and Stanislaw just come back to land form, there's a cheeky chance... EG gets out. I think G2's actually got a decent enough side, even though they're in terrible form. And Nico is an extremely good player right now. Could potentially carry them through a couple of games. I don't know if they can win a best of three of their map pool. Furia, I know they're up and down. K Serato and... Um, yeah, okay, thanks, Vince. K Serato and um, Yuri are still bangers. Art's kind of like... I don't really know where he's at in the identity of this team, so I'm kind of feeling they probably won't do it. Astralis, listen, if, if Glaive... Does a great IGL job. Magus frags out like a star in the tournament. And Dupree is a consistent player like he's been throughout most of his career. They can certainly get out. They can sneak out. At the moment, though, I don't feel it. And I think Lockie will be big time exposed at this point in the tournament. And I just don't think it's going to happen for them overall. So I'm going to go ahead and lock those picks in. Hey, it's simple. You're watching Torrent Channel. Shut the fuck up, you fucking bitch.
This video was kindly supported by Lager15, Matt Pugnacio Rakula, Scaparin, Travis Goff, Zach Smid, Adam Oaks, Alexander Rao, Animosity, Bot Pounder 420, Chris, Hades, J Dobbs, Jensen Go, John Shelton, Joseph Ginsberg, Kovacevic, Tobias Bernasconi, Zumba, Zyrathenia, and as always, a special thanks goes out to both Jerky's Minion and DZL. Do you want to suggest a topic or a guest for my content? Would you like to ask a question for my monthly AMA? Want teasers for upcoming content or interview guests have I done, etc.? Do you want to take part in one of those donated discussions? Well, if you want any of the above and previously mentioned, put your money where your mouth is and join the Squirrel Malati today at the description box link to Patreon.